Welcome back, AC fans. So now, this is the bonus episode. So let's go to the garage. Now, first things first, before I forget, let's go to the options. Uh, let's see, control options. Uh, key assign. Okay, the overboosts. No, I pressed A. Overboost I'd rather have here. And the... Shoulder weapon I'd rather have there. And this one will go there. And this one will go here. There. Perfect. No. Accept it. Okay. And other than that, the cockpit. Because at this moment it's white. Uh, my personal tip is to go for a color that doesn't mix too much with the environment. So let's see... Um, I think I'll go with blue because this game doesn't have too much blue colors. And the radar type you can go either with a line showing how uh, high or low something is compared to you. Or you can go old school by having a color co uh, code show how high or low they are compared to you. But I'm gonna go for the normal. And okay. Now let's see if we can make something good with our AC at the moment. Because at this moment I'm satisfied for the start of the game. He's fast. Um, he... Well, actually his energy sucks. Let me see if there's anything I can buy. And if I want to do that, I should have gone to the shop. What the? Nothing? Independence starts with nothing? Okay, I'll roll with it. Uh, okay. The paint is always the same in every Armored Core game, but it's a bit more advanced over here. So let's go with the color. Uh, you can change all the frame, units, stabilizers, but let's see. Um, I'm just gonna go very easy first. I'll go for all the frames. Um, very boring, but I, I just needed something. The weapons can stay the same. Now, other than that, you can also edit image, make your own emblem by just pasting stuff together. This was my first emblem. This was a friend's emblem. This was an emblem I used to, to decal another emblem on my uh, AC, just to put this over it, just to show, yeah, I beat him. Uh, this was supposed to be some sort of troll emblem, and this one I called Abandoned. And Socially Awkward Penguin. And this is for my Latios uh, AC. And this one, I think that I was inspired by Rogue Legacy by the time uh, I made this. But okay, let's go for a new image. I'm gonna make something very simple. There, it sucks, but I'm calling this the Warrior from Mars. Sure. Oh, maybe I should name my IEC that. Saving. And I'm gonna put my emblem as this one. And I now just to show off that you can decal, for example, I would choose the head. I would then uh, go for this one, select. Um, here, for fun, I'm choosing my cross. And I go for... Mm, there. Now, no touchy my AC. But it sucks, so I'd rather not do that. But I just wanted to show what you can do with the decals. Yes. And also, you can save your designs in here. Other than that, I think we're set for... No, actually, no, no, no. We're gonna go for an AC test, just to show some stuff. Now, just like Armored Core Last Raven, you can choose what kind of training you want. Though you're instantly jump, uh, put into one. So, right here, you got the target settings. 
You got no targets, empty, a normal, or four normals, I mean, and the next. I think I don't stand a chance, but, you know, I'll just show. With my starter AC. Let's see if I... Oh, there. Oh, I love the controls of this game so much. Oh, my energy! Oh my god, the energy sucks of this uh, independent one. Uh... I do love the auto-targeting, though. That's something that really improves with Armored Core. Normally it's so hard to keep track of uh, enemies in old Armored Cores, especially on high speeds. and. This makes it a lot easier. Now where are you going? Oh! I beat him. He didn't kick my ass. Now, for some reason, uh, training necks don't die. They just sort of stand here. Even if you were to... There. They don't care. They're... I guess not piloted. Uh, well, whatever. I uh, pretty much show what I wanted to show. So we're gonna go say goodbye to this guy. Oh right! Now I can also bring up the stabilizers. In this game, you can actually have too much weight in one direction. So at this current moment, I'm don't I'm not entirely centered there. It says minus two and minus one, which means that hang on. If I, for example, were to do this on my head, okay, I put more weight on my head on the front side, but I got a zero there now. If you got a minus or a plus somewhere, that means that you will boost faster or slower in a certain direction. Oh, well, that was very easy to fix, so all I just had to do is put this on the right side. We'll keep this in mind for f in the future. Oh, and now let's go check out the tuning. Now this is intimidating to look at, and honestly, I'm not even sure what I have to explain here. In the old games you could tune stats, but um, in this game you need to earn memory in order to tune stats, so they ease you into doing this, but they kind of show a lot of uh, text there, which makes it very intimidating to new players. But if you're a new player, don't be afraid of this. Seriously, you will get used to this. Now, as far as assembly goes, just as usual, the stats are practically the same with a few small twists. Here are the stats, and again, you might think, holy shit, that's a lot, but on the left side is the stats of your, of your uh, part that you selected, on the right are your general stats. Now, and if you don't know what the hell a certain stat means, you can press the, uh, the back button, and then you can be like, what does PA mean? Oh, primal armor, primal armor durability, stability. And that's how you find out what stats mean. And a lot of stats are reused. Uh, the FCS is your little onboard computer, which, well, really is important. But I think at the current moment this one gets the job done. I think that was all I really needed to show uh, at this moment. So join me next time on the actual second episode, and we're actually going to tackle one of their mi these missions. I think I'm going to go with this one.